Swansea hadn't lost at home in the league, and Tottenham hadn't lost away, so something had to give, and early on it was Swansea who looked the more vulnerable. Max Thompson was on hand to clear a dangerous cross. And then Steve Archibald, the Scottish striker, shot narrowly wide. Robbie James had a chance to put Swansea into the lead, but Ray Clements, the ex-Liverpool goalkeeper, saved. Argentinian Ozzy Ardile showed the class of a Spurs side which John Tosha tips for the title by taking the ball safely out of trouble. And soon after the interval, Leighton James was in the thick of the action, but his final shot was again easily saved by Clements. But by now, though, Swansea were well in the game, and after just 18 minutes of the second half, Robbie James had the chance to give Swansea the lead. And this time he made no mistake, volleying home from 12 yards. The disappointed Clement picked the ball from the net, but two minutes later, Spurs drew level. After the time on the left, Neil Robinson brought down Galvin, and referee Sybil gave the penalty. England international Glenn Hoddle had no trouble beating Guy Davis for the equaliser. Quarter an hour from the end, they were roaring again, as Alan Curtis took a pass to a and beat Clement from 25 yards. saved from Steve Archibald. Their last chance came from Mark Falcon, but again, Dide was on hand to save. 